Well, days after the BRICS summit, Beijing has been discussing the relations with two of India's immediate neighbors, Pakistan and India. While the Pakistan Defense Minister Khwaja Asif and hosted also Nepal's Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Krishna Bahadur Mahara, Beijing supported Islamabad on terror, while China pushed its One Belt and One Road initiative, the OBOR, with Nepal. Though Kathmandu has already signed Beijing's Belt and Road initiative in May of this year, a sense of uncertainty and skepticism still persists among Chinese officials. Now, Beijing has also been trying to minimize India's influence in the Himalayan kingdom and pushing for huge trade and investment initiatives in Nepal. China's premier also said that China is ready to maintain high-level exchanges with Nepal to ensure bilateral cooperation, which benefits the two countries and their development. It also helps their people as well as regional stability and prosperity. Nepal's deputy prime minister also reiterated Kathmandu's stand to adhere to the one China policy as well as maintain high level exchanges and deepen practical cooperation to achieve win win results. All right, really quickly back to uh, Surya Gangadharan in the newsroom again. Uh, uh, Surya, you know, again, as we just uh, reiterated, China's uh, win win ambitions. How is this going to be perceived by some of the other BRICS nations? I mean, they were just there last week. You know, the, the leaders from uh, many of those countries uh, Brazil, Russia, of course, India, and South Africa, and uh, sort of seeing uh, the cards and the way that China is really playing its game. No, I think uh, all countries, uh, there's an element of contradiction in their policies and the diplomacy that they practice. And uh, what happened in BRICS is something which perhaps every other member wanted. It, India was not alone there. So in that sense, uh, China as the host felt, uh, felt perhaps constrained to reflect all these views in the declaration. Uh, what China does otherwise with individual countries, that uh, I don't think anybody else is bothered about. India is bothered because indirectly it helps the Pakistanis continue with their policy of hostility towards India and of breeding uh, terror groups on their own soil. So that's an issue that uh, will not go away. Uh, it's something that we have to uh, we have yet to develop the tools and the instruments to uh, deal to uh, sort uh, sort that out directly with uh, Pakistan. Uh, until then, it's uh, well we just have to manage the situation. All right, Surya Gangadharan with the very latest on that. Thank you for those updates, Surya.